So this is going to be my first ever Andre Tarkovsky review on this channel. I'm a big fan of Andre Tarkovsky, but I don't know if this is the right film to be reviewing first on the channel uh, or second. I don't know whichever one I post, Stalker or this, but uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I need to before I actually start forgetting what's going on. But before we get into this review, I just want to thank everybody that's checked out uh, the Runaround to Hell I Come. It means the world to me. You guys are kick-ass, and I'm so glad people are enjoying it. And if you guys want to check out your copy, link's down in the description below. So Solaris is the 1972 film by Andre Tarkovsky. I got the Criterion version. Criterion movies are addicting. Like, me and my wife have been buying these, and it's kind of got to stop. So if I remember correctly, Andre Tarkovsky said that this film was sort of his answer or sort of his uh, own 2001 A Space Odyssey, if I read correctly. Uh, and I can kind of see that. I really can. Uh, there are a lot of things that you can um, compare 2001 A Space Odyssey with with this film, and there are some dialogue choices uh, in this film that sort of go back to 2001 A Space Odyssey. Now, do I think 2001 A Space Odyssey is a better film than this? Absolutely, yes. I would probably even say 2010, The Year We Make Contact, is better than this film. But this film, I think, has a more important message. And I like the ending of this film a little bit better than I did uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey. It was kind of uh, easier to wrap my head around, uh, which might just be lazy for me to say that I didn't want to like wrap my head around 2001 A Space Odyssey, which, which eventually I did, uh, having 2010 kind of helped out a lot with that, whether or not people see that as canon or not. Uh, but this film, sort of like whenever I saw it, I was like, I, I know exactly what he was going for. In 2001, I was kind of like, yeah, let's uh, let's look up a uh, 2001 Explained. But this film follows a guy that is going, Chris Kelvin, I believe is his name, and he's going to uh, this sort of base that's orbiting this planet called Solaris. Uh, these The crew members there have been kind of... Uh, maybe not complying or not uh, letting people on Earth know what they've been finding or they've been going crazy. Kind of, uh, it, it's kind of, it's, I don't want to say it's necessarily vague, but there's a lot of stuff that happens whenever he gets to that space shuttle or that space station. And uh, one of the people on the space station, uh, I'm going to go ahead and assume he's a Tarkovsky regular because uh, he's in, I've seen him in Andre Rublev and I've seen him in Stalker. And he's a really good actor. But I'm not even going to try to pronounce these uh, these actors' names. I'd probably butcher them. I know Andre Tarkovsky. I can say that, and that's good enough for me. But this film definitely has a lot to do with humanity. It's a, it's a very human film, and that's one thing that I can appreciate because there's a lot of stuff in this movie that makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of dialogue that when you listen to it, you're like, oh, wow, okay, I can see where this person's coming from. This definitely makes sense. And the film does drag. This film drags so much. Uh, it is probably, I would say, the worst Tarkovsky film to start out with um, because it's slow. And for somebody that's not seen Tarkovsky, he's a very different filmmaker, a, a very different filmmaker. But he's a filmmaker that I would definitely recommend checking out, especially if you're like wanting to get into making films like I am. Um, he's definitely someone that you want to watch. And he sort of helped me out too a little bit. Um, he's a very slow and methodical filmmaker and that can be done really well or that can be done really bad. Now, so far, Tarkovsky's done it well. I just feel like this film did drag a lot. There is a driving scene in this film that goes on for way too long. Like, I get it, maybe it's a metaphor for something, but it's way too long. It could have been shaved off like two or three minutes. Yeah, two or three minutes and it's longer than that, I believe. Tarkovsky, do, he does like to hold his shots and that's something that I'm all for. I strongly believe in holding shots in films, especially whenever it's something pretty to look at or it makes sense. Um, and he's no stranger to that in this. Uh, he's definitely no stranger to that in any of his films. Uh, but Stalker itself, or not Stalker, but Solaris, I'm getting these mixed up. But Solaris itself is a whole different beast. It's science fiction, it's space. Um, there, like I said, it, there's not a lot going on in this film. Like there is, but there isn't. And that's because of the pacing. And I don't know whether or not to compliment the film for that or to just be like, hey, what are you doing here? Because there's a sort of a, a it's, it's a very sort of three act structure for this film. Like you've got the beginning, you've got the middle, and then you've got the climax where you're starting to figure a lot of stuff out especially whenever he starts to see uh, his dead wife on the ship because the Solaris Ocean is sort of 
reading his mind or whatever that ocean does. There's a lot of stuff that the film doesn't tell you, but you can take a lot of it into interpretation, and that's one thing that I think this film succeeds a lot with. And yeah, I, I really do think this film succeeds a lot with the story that it's trying to tell um, and being vague. A lot of the times when you're vague in a film, you know, that kind of can make the audience really upset. It made me upset a lot in this film too, but then at the same time I started to pay attention and I was like, okay, yeah, I'm starting to understand where this is coming, where, where he's coming from. But Solaris itself, it's a good film. My final score for it is a 7 out of a 10. It's a good film. I like it. It's not the right film to start out with if you're just now getting into Andre Tarkovsky's filmography. But once you start getting into his films, this is definitely worth the watch. And if you have seen his films and you haven't seen this, definitely check it out. And, and check out the, the Criterion version for this by every uh, Andre Tarkovsky Criterion. If you're wanting to get into his filmography, buy the four films that are on Criterion. They better release the mirror for Criterion. I want to see that film. I can only find the... Uh, the, the crappy Blu-rays, uh, the, the ones that aren't region-free. So if you guys have any idea where I can find a region-free Blu-ray of The Mirror with subtitles, please let me know. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you guys did, leave a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. And also check out The Runner on the Hell I Come. Link's down in the description below. And you guys can also follow me on my Instagram. Link's down in the description below. That's where I post all my moving gaming, uh, moving gaming movie gaming and just you know filmmaking and writing stuff so if you guys want to follow me on there i'd really appreciate it hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time